Paul Peel stands as one of the most significant figures in Canadian art history. Born in London, Ontario, on November 7, 1860, and passing away prematurely on October 3, 1892, in Paris, France, Peel's life, though brief, was marked by a prolific output of work that helped lay the foundations for Canadian visual arts. His paintings, often characterized by their technical skill and emotive qualities, garnered international acclaim and continue to be celebrated for their contribution to the cultural fabric of Canada. Paul Peel was the son of John Robert Peel, a marble carver, and Amelia Hall Peel. His early exposure to art came through his father, who recognized his son's talent and provided him with initial guidance. By the age of 14, Peel was already receiving formal art education from William Lees Judson at the London Art School. Judson, an English-born artist and teacher, instilled in Peel a strong foundation in drawing and composition. In 1877, Peel moved to Toronto to study at the Ontario Society of Artists School under Robert Harris, a prominent Canadian painter. Harris was an influential teacher who encouraged his students to pursue further education in Europe, where they could study the masters and refine their techniques. Peel took this advice to heart, and in 1880, set sail for Philadelphia to attend the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. There, he studied under the tutelage of Thomas Eakins, an American realist painter known for his rigorous approach to anatomy and life drawing. Paul Peel's ambition drove him to further his studies in Europe. In 1882, he enrolled at the prestigious École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. The École was a leading art institution, attracting students from around the world who were eager to learn from its distinguished faculty. Peel studied under Jean-Léon Jérôme, a master of academic art known for his precise and detailed style. Jérôme's influence is evident in Peel's meticulous attention to detail and his ability to capture the human form with remarkable accuracy. During his time in Paris, Peel also attended classes at the Académie Julian, where he worked with figures such as Jules-Joseph Leffre and William Adolphe Bouguereau. The artistic environment in Paris during the late 19th century was vibrant and dynamic, offering Peel exposure to various styles and movements, including Impressionism, which was gaining prominence at the time. However, Peel remained committed to the academic tradition, focusing on realism and classical themes. Paul Peel's career began to flourish in the mid-1880s. His painting, The Academy, 1882, was exhibited at the Paris Salon, one of the most prestigious art exhibitions in the world. The work, which depicted a group of young artists in a life drawing class, was praised for its technical proficiency and insightful portrayal of the artistic process. This early success established Peel as a promising artist on the international stage. Peel continued to exhibit his work at the Salon and other major exhibitions, including the Royal Academy of Arts in London and the Art Association of Montreal. His paintings often featured domestic and intimate scenes, such as After the Bath, 1890, and The Young Biologist, 1892, which displayed his skill in capturing the innocence and vulnerability of childhood. These works were not only technically accomplished, but also imbued with a sense of tenderness and emotional depth. One of Peel's most celebrated paintings, The Young Botanist, 1890, exemplifies his mastery of composition and light. The painting depicts a young girl studying a plant specimen, her face illuminated by soft, natural light. The delicate rendering of the girl's features and the meticulous attention to detail in the surrounding flora showcase Peel's ability to blend realism with a poetic sensibility. Paul Peel's contributions to art were recognized both during his lifetime and posthumously. In 1889, he won a bronze medal at the Exposition Universelle in Paris for his painting, After the Bath. This accolade marked a significant achievement as it was one of the highest honors awarded to a Canadian artist at the time. Peel's success at the Exposition Universelle solidified his reputation as an artist of international caliber. Despite his burgeoning career, Peel's life was tragically cut short. He succumbed to a lung infection in 1892 at the age of 31. His premature death was a significant loss to the art world, as he was on the cusp of achieving even greater artistic heights. Nevertheless, Peel's legacy endures through his body of work, which continues to be admired and studied.
Peel's influence on Canadian art is profound. He was among the first Canadian artists to gain international recognition, paving the way for future generations of artists. His commitment to technical excellence and his ability to convey emotion through his paintings have inspired countless artists and art lovers. Peel's work is held in numerous public and private collections, including the National Gallery of Canada, the Art Gallery of Ontario, and the Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal. Paul Peel's life and career, though brief, left an indelible mark on the world of art. His dedication to his craft, coupled with his ability to capture the subtleties of human emotion and experience, set him apart as a pioneer of Canadian art. Peel's legacy is not only evident in his paintings, but also in the path he forged for future Canadian artists to gain recognition on the international stage. His work continues to be celebrated for its beauty, technical skill and emotional resonance, ensuring that Paul Peel remains a significant figure in the annals of art history.